Welcome back to Duels of the Planeswalkers. Let's be the arch enemy. We have retained our grasp on the world, and now we shall keep it. I shall be knighted against the forces of... I don't even know yet. Uh, let's randomize. Actually, you know what? I want to play Gideon. Gideon's deck is fun. Against... Uh, Nyssa. Totally landed on Nyssa. You saw it. You all saw it. Be knighted. Alright. And Trinity of Elements. And then after this, I think I'll play Garouk. Garouk. Garouk is on fire. One time I was playing against Garouk as the arch when he was the arch enemy. He drew himself out despite the fact that he had a um despite the fact that he had um overrun in hand, and he never cast the overrun. So this hand looks freaking sweet. Mortal flesh is weak. Don't see how that's really a Gideon thing here, but I'll take it, because even though it doesn't really do anything yet, it makes all their life totals the same. It, they already are. So I played a core duelist who gets plus who gets double strike as long as he's equipped. <laughs> I like his flavor text. Swords cannot reach far enough. Chains cannot strike hard enough. An eternal dilemma, but a simple one. Clearly, the best option is chain swords. Just go full, uh, just go full Kratos on a motherfucker. I like seeing nothing from them. The Archangel of Strife. Nice. Ooh, Penum Blade. Realms befitting my majesty. Alright. This I get to search for two lands. Uh, gonna play the Sunspear Shikari. So I have backup. <laughs> Best part is that Nyssa is the only one in this uh, matchup who has hard removal. And even that won't get rid of my artifact, my equipments. So I'm going to start off by going against Benighted. He's like there. Oh. Bigger. I don't like them the most. But whatever, the Sword of War and Peace is going to let me swing at Benighted forever because it gives them protection from white. And they're all white. So, they gon' get hurt. Elvish Visionary. Alright, you get to sight, you get to cantrip. <laughs> uh, Quarter Paladin. Alright then. If I draw a land, you know this sword is going right onto this core duelist. Because double striking sword, yes please. On oh, draw land. Into the Earthen Maw. See, I'll exile a creature without flying, and there's no creatures with flying to exile, and I guess your graveyard, even though it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, let's play Pure Steel. And another core duelist. Pure Steel Paladin makes my, makes my equipment's cost zero to cast. As long as they have Metalcraft, which I should. Uh, I'm going to attack Trinity of Elements, actually. Because Benighted is going to go down as soon as I cast this sword. And he also lets me draw a card whenever I play an equipment, so... You know, that's fun. That's that's a fair card, right? I'm an equipment deck with a sword in it. I forgot that this game had busted cards, you know? Shut up out there! I'm trying to play magic! I'm trying to entertain you lovely people. You beautiful, beautiful people. Except you, you right, Steve, Steve, you right there. You're, you're no. Just stop with all of this. <laughs> all right. Ooh, she has a two-two. I will take a two. Okay. And now Trinity of Elements is playing a Primal Force Mage. That's not good. That is not a good. Okay. Introductions are. Oh my god, they're in order. They are so in order. Put a creature onto the battlefield from my hand. 
<laughs> Archangel of Strife. I'm gonna choose fucking war. <laughs> so that means that all my creatures get plus three plus O. Oh, and they also get to choose things, but I Oh, this is good. We might play the Sword of War in Peace, too. Oh, this... oh, everybody chose War, except for Benighted, who I have no idea what they chose. Okay, Sword of War and Peace. Come on, land. Yes! Oh my god, Benighted is so dead. Equip on to here. Okay, let's see. 6-3 with Pro, White, and Red. And Double Strike. Swing for... Six over here, which is going to deal 24 damage because of the sword. Oh my god, I love this. I fucking love putting the Sword of War and Peace onto the core duelist. Putting sword, putting the cycle of swords onto anything with double strike is fucking amazing. It's just beautiful. And I have a 9-6, so they can't even swing. <laughs> oh god, and this pen and blade is gonna get huge. Oh! Oh, I can just use Brave the Elements next turn to, I think, I'm pretty sure just win. Because it's like, he can one-shot anybody. He will one-shot somebody. And the rest of them against somebody else will just win. So this game's won in less than in less than five minutes, really. Because as it turns out, Gideon's deck is broken as all hell. Introductions are in order. Uh, I'm gonna put a creature on the battlefield from my hand. Because why not? Okay, Sail Apprentice. Uh, play the Pen and Blade. Why not? I might draw an equipment that costs one. Aw, their eye blight's ending, my guy. Oh, Brave the Elements. Oh, but if I do that, then I have to give them protection from black. To save it. Ooh, this is a dilemma. This is a dilemma. Hmm. Nah. nah, I'm still gonna go with green. Darn. Oh well. And I drew a land. Okay, whatever. Alright, so let's swing... Here. So that'll be six. That'll ki that'll still kill Trinity of Elements. And then... You swing here. There we go. Start softening her up. <laughs> so yeah, Trinity of Elements is still dead. Deals exactly 18 damage. He had 17 life left. I like that. Here's perfect. It's an elf token. Whatever. This pen and blade is gonna be nice. Oh no, I take four. The horror. You notice that I have a, fl I have a guy who can gain flying, right? Ah, you're going to Elvish Promenade. Okay. My genius knows no bounds. Indeed it does. So I'm going to spend five mana to draw five cards and gain five life. Perfect. Play a planes, cast a trusty machete, and now all my equipment costs zero to equip. Play Gideon's Lawkeeper. Uh, I have... Alright, that's weird, because in the other one it actually shows that the equipment legitimately has an additional thing that costs zero to equip, but whatever. 
All right, so let's swing with my 12-11 in the air. Oh, I forgot how busted Gideon's deck was. Oh my god. I legitimately forgot how busted his deck is. And now, we equip these onto different creatures. They get benefits for being equipped. Because we can. And why shouldn't we, really? <laughs> oh, oh, Nissa, you never stood a chance. You never, ever stood a chance. Oh. Oh, this feels too good. This is too good. Oh. I'd almost feel sorry if I had any vestige of emotion left within me for you. Of course, you do keep shitting tutus, so, you know, I can't feel too bad for you. Mm, it's fine. Okay. This is chosen. Ooh, this one's a 3-4. Again, not that it fucking matters. I have a guy who can fly. Can gain flying. Fleeing. Yes, be d Aww, I was hoping you'd be dumb and swing this, uh... Aww. The pieces are coming together. I get to draw two additional cards, and... Artifact spells cost less to cast for me this turn. Not that it matters, because I don't have any artifacts to cast, so I'm going to arrest the... Imp eh, I'm going to arrest the 3-4. Core Hookmaster. Uh, okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It, these things literally do not matter because my equipment costs zero to equip. I just need to equip one thing to the Kite Sail Apprentice. So, okay, come on. Choose. Choose the equipment. And choose there. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am evil. I am just evil. I guess that was ten minutes. Just over ten minutes. But still, Nissa is down. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it when I get to play a really busted-ass deck. Ah. Uh, yeah, not free for all. No, bad, bad. Okay, so now we keep playing as the arch enemy, but let's become Garuk. Garuk. Garuk is on fire. Sorry, I had to. I, I physically had to. There's a there's a gun to my head just off screen. You guys couldn't see it, but I, I totally. You, you you believe me, right? Right, Steve. You, you don't you don't remember all that shit I talked about you just five minutes ago, right, Steve? Right, Steve. Yeah, Steve. All right, this should be an interesting game. No blue that I'm fighting against, which is good, because Garuk doesn't like blue mages, and honestly, he should probably be killing everybody here, thanks to his mo more recent things. But this hand looks good. Borderland Ranger, Dungrove Elder is a growing hexproofer. Your fate is thrice sealed, because apparently I've been a good boy. Thank you, Santa. Fuck you, Santa! Fuck you, Santa! I gotta discard? I gotta discard this good shit? Alright, I'll discard the Copperhorn Vorak. Because it doesn't have any kind of evasion, it's just Hugh. And I guess the Giant Growth. Fuck you, Santa! Why were there no lands in that? Like, even one land, I would have been able to play the Garuk's Companion, and I would have been fine. But no, you had to give me actual spells! Yeah, well, fuck you, Santa! I never even believed in you anyway! Meh! <sighs> Fuck you, Santa. You know, reindeer you rode in on. My genius knows no bounds. Well, it clearly does, because I'm not able to remember lands. Garuk's companion. 
can get as swole on the board as fast as possible. Get one swole on the battlefield. Then next turn I play the Dungrove Elder, who they just cannot deal with. It's going to keep growing, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I like this. This is fun. Alright, Boros Swiftblade. Great, that... I Dungrove Elder. The Iridian Emissary. Also, this guy is really good for me, because they have a lot... Of, they have more non-creature spells than I do, and so I'm going to be drawing more cards. Ooh, that's nice. Roots of all evil, I got Sapperlings. That'll happen eventually. <laughs> I think next time I'm just going to play the Borderland Ranger. I'm let, if I draw a land, I'm going to play the Grazing Gladeheart. But if I play the Borderland Ranger... Or if I don't draw a land, I'm going to play the Borderland Ranger. Uh, swing here. Why not? Because you're the only one who can't trade with this guy. I mean, you could if you have... Yep, just figure. Figured, but... I had to try. And I have a Dungrove Elder. The only way that they can deal with it is by getting me to block something of theirs and then using a combat trick. Actually, I guess he... No, he doesn't have Bright Flame. He does not have Bright Flame, so he really cannot deal with my Dungrove Elder. His roots reach deep, nurtured not by soil and rain, but by millennia of experience. And also, technically, soil and rain, I guess, if you want to be pedantic about it. Steve! Damn, Steve. Oh, Soul Warden. You're going to be getting a lot of life. I'm pretty sure that's actually how I was able to do that Garuk fight. Just because I had a Soul Warden out, and every time that he played a creature, I was able to gain life. And he just never played his overrun. I knew he had it, because he freaking had to, but he never played it. <laughs> hmm. I don't like what's going on here. This is not this is not good. Oh my god, where the hell am I at? Feed the machine, I like that. Okay. Uh March to War. Either you sack two creatures, or everybody else sacks one. Aww. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Borderland Ranger. Get me a forest. Get me some fucking land. I'm the green deck. I need land. I can't attack anybody because then my Dunkrove Elder's off, off blocking duty. <sighs> like, I just need one more land and I can play the Terrace. Oh no, I need two more land for the Terra Stomper. Right. But it's still an 8 8 with Trample. Okay, what who's going to Who dares take first second blood on Garuk? Apex Predator. Oh no, I lose a sapperling. The horror. Sun Home Enforcer. Why do you always get the life gain cards when you play that deck, but I don't? Heedless one. That's not good. Oh, but it's only 2 2 right now. That's still not good. And Gravedigger. I guess he's going to get back his Scorpion. Yep, he's going to get back Scorpionock. Scorpina. Insert other Scorpion base. Hello? Yes, introductions are in order. Uh, my Terra Stomper, I think. And I will play the Heartwood Storyteller in case they decide to play something non-creature. I could have played the Guy's Revenge, but it's weaker than the Terra Stomper, honestly. 
All right, who's doing what now? Who's doing what to my eight fucking eight? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro, Seth. Come at me, bro, Seth. What you got? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Playing on creature spell, please. Okay, I, I know you guys have them. have things. I know you guys want to. Aw, well, you don't want me to draw cards. Aw. Don't want me taxed with the burden. Aw, that's sweet of you guys. Tooth, claw, and tail. Okay, let's see. Let's kill that. Let's kill that, because that's going to get big. And quite honestly, let's kill that. It's not the biggest creature on this field, but it's still a very annoying one. And where are my lands? I'm a green deck. <laughs> Might of the masses. That probably would have been better served, you know, before that you had know, lost that creature, but whatever. Alright. But thank you for letting me draw a card and getting another land finally. So I got to gain life. Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing a creature that's already served its purpose. Oh dear, whatever shall I do? Okay, let's see. Let's go 8-8 eight, eight here. Let's just start swinging and march to war. And then the rest of these guys can stay back for blocking, because obvious. <laughs> but yeah, that Terra Stomper. That Terra Stomp, yo. I think I'm going to overrun next turn and just end everybody. Because I'm evil, apparently. If I get another introduction, or in order you know Guy's Revenge is going out there. Uh, liberally apply overrun. That's how you win as a green deck. Just apply liberal amounts of overrun. Or, if you're playing in Duels 2013, liberally apply Crater Hoof Behemoth. Ah, uh, Crater Hoof. Is there anything you can't do? Not be countered by a Dream Fracture without an additional card. Hmm. Maybe I need to rethink my use of that card. Ah, uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Is there anything you can't do? Quite a lot, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, he can't fly on his own. I mean, if he got, you know, support, he could fly, but not on his own. Okay. Your puny minds cannot fathom. Ooh, Thrun. He's fun. Uh, they're going to Lightning Helix, that guy. Okay, whatever. That honestly helps me, because now it means that my Overrun doesn't draw you guys a card. All right. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> you know what? I think I actually want to wait a turn just to get a bigger presence on the board first. So let's play this. Play this. And play this, because, you know what? Screw you, March to War. I keep my Heartwood Storyteller. And let's swing at you again. For daring to threaten me. There we go. Now he's need to swing at you with two one ones next turn and you're gone. Cause there'll be four fours. Oh, well, you'll still survive that actually, because you have four. So you'd be at one. I'll swing at you with this one and this one. Assuming you don't play anything, you're just dead then. <laughs> ah, 
asshole. I like my Terra Stomper, thank you. Ass. Well, I don't want to use it. Mm -hmm. Who am I kidding? I still want to use it. Saradon Yearling. Okay. Also, this is a May ability, but they but May abilities in this game always trigger, so you can actually play a green mill deck in this game. You just gotta play the a Heartwood Storyteller and a whole bunch of non-creature spells. I mean it'd be terrible, but you totally can. Giant Scorpina, okay. And anybody else doing anything? Nothing more pre-combat. Okay. I hope you guys know. No, I was gonna say. I hope you guys know that I'm just gonna take whatever you swing at me with. Dark steel axe, whatever. Oh no. My creatures will still hit you. I don't know what you were planning to do there, but. May civilization collapse. Uh, you've got the most lands. Either you sacrifice two lands or everybody else sacks one. Ah, you sacrifice two. Okay. And overrun. All right. Let's see. One, two, three. You're dead. See, you have four toughness on the field, so let's see this. Ten... 24, good, and now Sarkhan will be the only one left alive. Yay! Oh, he didn't even kill one of my sapperlings, wow. I'm touched. I'm touched, March to War. Okay, I'm uh, gonna discard a Cudgel Troll. I'm touched, March to War. You didn't even kill one of my sapperlings. And you could have Ernest Wealth, whatever. <laughs> Festering Goblin, okay. Well, my Overrun's gone now, but whatever. My genius knows no bounds. Uh, I think I'm good with the cards I got in hand, so no. Forest, let's see. Let's play Lumbering Baloth. And let's play Thrun. Uh, swing at you with an 8-8. Eight, eight. Until I have enough power to just wipe your board, to just kill you outright, I'm not swinging you with more than just the 8-8. Eight, eight. Hexproof 8-8, eight, eight, because that's a fair card. Oh no! My 4-3, my 4-5 my four, is now a 3-4. Burst Lightning. Oh no, you killed my gr Oh right, it's only until end of turn, okay. Crucible of Fire. That's actually slightly pr d um, worrying, because that makes his dragon a 5-5. Five, five. But he's not swinging with it. Okay, so let's see. He blocks my two biggest creatures. Realms Defending My Majesty, I get to get two lands. He's going to be taking... Exactly 12. Alright then. Let's lead the Stampede to get a creature to our hand. Uh, Centaur Courser. And Borderland Ranger. And now let's swing it in with everybody that we got, because he will take exactly 12 and exactly die. <sighs> oh, and exactly half an hour, too. Exactly how long I like to make these games. <laughs> hmm. 
Apparently he didn't exactly block. But whatever, it just means he dies harder. Alright then. <laughs> Let's say this was a successful week of Arch enemy -ing. Arch, arch enemy? Being the Arch enemy. So come back next week when we maintain our iron grip on the world. And maybe use some iron ourselves. <laughs>